In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create an image in the style of Julie Cockburn using the shape tool and clipping mask in Adobe Photoshop. The first thing that you need to do is find an image that's suitable, for example a school snapshot or any old vintage family photographs would work quite well so that it would keep within the theme of Julie's work. Once you've found your image you then next you need to choose the shape. So to do that you click onto your shape tools, you can see that you've got um, a range of ellipse, rounded, rectangle preset tools that you can use. But to make a shape more easy and keep with that geometric 3D form, um, if you click on custom shape tool and then you can see that you've got a range of different shapes that you can choose from. I'm going to go for a triangle as that's quite easy to fit together. So if you just select once you've found your image, it doesn't matter what colour you are on as we're going to create that into a clipping mask. And then holding down the shift button, keeping it all in proportion if you draw your shape. Try not to make it too big as you won't be able to piece it all in together at the end. Okay, so once you've found that, go over into your layer palette and then you need to make sure that you double click on your background to create it into a layer, just press OK and then just click, hold and drag your layer above your shape. You'll then see that your shape will disappear and your background layer will become forefront, which is fine. And holding down Control and right click on a Mac, if you just click Create Clipping Mask you can see that we've created a clipping mask of our image straight away. With the move tool selected, you can then see that your image is hidden underneath, but as you move it, you can select parts of your image. So for example, I might try and put the eyes in my forefront at first. I might stick with that one here. And then you need to make sure that you have another copy of your background image, otherwise you won't be able to open it up. So if you just click and drag the same image back in, and then clicking back onto your clipping mask. Holding down the shift button, you can select both of your layers. Holding down Command and E at the same time, you can merge your layers together, and then that will mean you can then be able to move your clipping mask shape into the upper picture. So with your move tool selected, clicking on your triangle or circle shape, whatever you've chosen, you can then move it in. If it's too big or small, you can go edit, transform, and then scale, and then you can see you've got these nice options here, and you'll be able to edit it. Just press return when you're happy and then start placing your image where you want. So for example, we're going to cover the face to keep it within the same setting and then start placing it just where you want to put it and then go back onto your other layer palette, just click edit, step backwards and you'll see that we've uncreated that merge layer and then you can move your image again to where you want. So for example, I think I might put in some hair, show a little bit of the face holding down shift, selecting your upper layer, command E to merge your layers together, you then can move this new triangle over. And then we can start creating a nice setting. And then I think I might put that one here. Make sure they're all lined up. And then going back onto your other picture, again, edit, step backwards. I'm going to move it in here. I think I might put in some lips. And then shift again, command E, merge your layers, and we can drag that back over. To rotate it, as you can see, I'm going to have to put a triangle in here. All you have to do is edit, transform, same thing with scales, but below that you've got rotate. And then we've just got this nice, and then we can rotate your shape round so it fits nicely. Making sure it's straight, once you're happy, press the return enter key. And then with the move tool selected, you can just bring that down. And move it into place. And then back onto your picture, edit step backwards, again choose a new section, might be quite nice to bring in a bit of her collar and her blue hair so we get this really distorted effect going on. Selecting your layers again, command and E to merge them together and then we can now drag this new shape over. I think I might place that one here and again edit step backwards choose something else, I think I might go some nice blue, shift, select all your layers, command and E to merge them together and drag it back over. And then literally just keep on carrying on until you've, you're happy. You can choose different shapes, different sizes if you want to, all you have to do is create a new clipping mask. I'll try and get both eyes in if I can. There we go, and then just carry on until you're happy. I'm not going to do all of them, 
We're just going to do a few until you can see the overall idea of the composition. Be selective with what you're doing. Think about how your colours combine and work together. I'm going to show a bit of the colour, I think. Try and get that button in. There we go. I'm just going to do one more so we get a triangle shape. That will do. Oh, and then just one more so it can fit in this area here. So again, edit step backward as you've been doing before. Choosing and thinking actually what would look, work quite well in there. I might put in a hair for example. I don't think I have that. Checking. Yep, that's okay. Holding down shift, selecting all. Command and E to merge your layers together as before. I'm just going to drag this in and then you just need to rotate it so that it will fit nicely within my triangle shape. Just going to make that go upside down. Press return key and then I'm just going to move that into shape here and then you can see that I've made a nice triangle shape that will fit nicely over my face. If you want to make your section larger or bigger, select all of your layers. To do that just hold down shift and just scroll down on your layer stack until you've selected them all and then as you've done before, command and E to merge all your layers together and then you can see that your triangle shape has been moved into one. Then if you go into edit transform and go to scale you can obviously make your new picture smaller or larger. I'm just going to press edit undo quickly. There we go. And then press the return key. I'm going to rotate mine upside down. So to do that, transform, rotate. And then I'm just going to move it round. There we go. Using the move tool selected and it's in place. You can then move your selection and then you'll end up with something that looks, hopefully, a little bit like this with this geometric pattern. You've got nice 3D constructions going on.